Hi everyone, David here from RF Shop. Um, today I actually just wanted to test something that probably isn't always um, is it considered and that's um, when somebody actually has a good internet connection with mobile broadband, is it still possible to make some improvements and actually have it better? better? And I'm specifically thinking about myself here um, because we um, at home typically test 44 and eh, something in the 40s megabits per second upload. Today I tested 2.2 megabits per second. So and it's, it's not amazing, but I used to be um, connected to ADSL. So from where we were to using 4G as our default connection, it was, um, it was really good. Now for this test, I'm using the, um, well, there's the box. It's the um, pointing LPDA. Um, it's available on our website, rfshop.com.au. So if you have a look on our website, you'll see it's there. Um, and specifically today, I'm using it in its MIMO configuration, which is another option on our website. It's a separate product that's available. Now, I call this setup here kind of an unapolo unapologetic MIMO setup because this is really, it feels like you're going in all guns blazing. And the reason for that is this is really a very rugged antenna so um, you can see it's, it's two antennas in there the design itself is um cast aluminium it, it's an absolute beauty um, and it's it's quite heavy as well so it takes a bit of setup um, it's also a bit more um, expensive than the other antennas that you get out there but if you do this it's 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 a seriously proper setup and this can go, go in rural areas the gain is quite high the 12 dbi gain it's it's a beautiful um performing antenna as well um, and in a minor setup, setup, it's uh, even better. Um, now, also, the one big thing that I, I really just want to mention is this is not a Yagi setup. So Yagi is a completely different type of antenna. It's a narrow band, single resonance structure. So it works in A band, and then that band, it is just basically um, use the directors and the reflector to con convert a Omni into a really directional antenna. So normally a Yagi would work better but in a single frequency. This is a lock periodic antenna. Um, if you look closely for, for anybody who's interested, um, you'll see the actual feed line, the coax itself runs through and it launches in the front. So you'll see here in the front, in the tip of the nose, there's actually a, um, a launch. And then this structure has a transmission line that, right, that transmits to the rear. And then all of these elements where their length is resonant, that area becomes a reactive area and that resonates and, and uh, resonates and then radiates. Now, um, why this is important is because LTE is from 700 meg up to 2.7 gig, anything, it could be anywhere. And, and even here with us, I see myself sometimes connected to band 28, which is down in the 700 megs. Um, today in my test and my setup, I was at band 40, so 2.3 gig. So um, there's a lot of fluctuation and this antenna would get you covered. So no issues there, you always get connected. As I say, on our website, you can um, you see the link there and I have a screenshot running as well on that. Um, so for our specific test, I first had a test inside the house. So as a baseline, um, and I try to keep the modem up and running because when you do a reset with antennas on, you kind of start with a whole new setup because with the antennas as well, the modem and the network sees you as a different device. So it is a completely new connection every time you re reset your modem. So I keep the modem up and running. My first test was in the house itself. Um, as I said, I got connected to band 40. Um, RSRP was minus 105. RSRQ was minus 11. Um, and on the ACMA website, I could see the um, specific site where I would be connected to for that, that frequency band. So that's all the information I got ready for myself before I went and connected this device to my modem. Now, I actually went outside because I don't have a, a pole or anything ready. So I took the whole fixture outside. But as I said, I'm running my modem on battery so I could just move it around as I wanted. Um, so um, I'll show you the rest of the test now. So have a look. We're outside the um, backyard of our house, um, indoors as I showed, we, we have good connection, but here outside obviously we'll have a better connection. So the first thing is I brought the um, my little house out, so there's the modem. It's going to, I'll, I'll put the roof on, that, that roof there, but um, there's the modem, I'll test that now. And then over there, you'll see the actual um, pointing antenna, I'll just bring it out into the light. So what I've done, I've aligned it with the base station. Now we are very fortunate here, um, you can see the base station is just over our neighbor's house, um, Alan. So, of course, we don't really have a problem, but for the sake of showing, I'll just show you the alignment there. So, you can see 
the um, base station is there on the horizon um, and we are aligned with that so if you see some drooping it's actually because we are so close that the angle between us and the um, base station is is getting quite steep so we'll see what this does on our actual system so let's have a look Okay, so I'm putting the um, roof on the outdoor house, so there you go, it's kind of um, shielded, so it's a bit more protected, so see what the um, actual signal strength is. Um, RSRQ is minus 6, RSRP minus 97, um, signal to noise is 11 dB, we're on band 40, um, so we're on band 40. I'm going to leave this one as is now, because now I'm going to test um, apples with apples, so um, take a screenshot. That's my baseline for this test. And just doing a speed test of net. So there we go. So that's all our results. 48.6 download, 7.2 upload. Um, and let's see what the Excel antenna is going to do for us. Okay, so what I've done, I connected the um, antenna to my modem and we'll just see, it. I kept the modem on so it's still on the same settings as it was before. Just going to first set it to um, external antenna. Okay, we're still on band 40, so that's the same. RSRP is minus 66, signal to noise is my, uh, sorry, plus, it's 26 dB. Uh, RSRQ is minus 5, so Big, big difference. Take a screenshot. Now, proof is in the pudding, obviously. So let's go to um, speedtest.net. There we go. So, ping is 17 milliseconds, download 59, upload 7.49 megabits per second. Um, so there's definitely a, a difference. Now we have to always understand we are relying on network settings and network specific conditions. What is super important and super um, amazing actually is the RSRP which had a significant jump and that means that you actually have extra buffer, extra fade margin, I don't know how you want to call it in microwave engineering we used to call that fade margin which basically puts you in a so much better position um, and in being a better position if there comes rain, there comes some differences in the atmosphere or whatever you are safe from it so you are still at a strong signal and then when there's stuff that makes the um, environment worse you're still in a very good position plus in a whole network you are in a better position than other people that don't have antennas. So if congestion starts to play a role where the strongest signal and the best connection gets priority, um, having an excellent antenna like this means that you are better positioned and you will have a um, you know, more secure connection going forward. So I'm happy with this. So at the end, I'm actually really pleased with what I learned. Um, now, obviously, as, a, as an end user, a lot of people just use speedtest.net and just rely on those results. But as you can see, they fluctuate a lot. And I personally, now at the moment when I'm shooting this, we're still in this kind of lockdown time with COVID-19. So a lot of contention on the network. People, a lot of people on the network actually um, competing for some um, access to the internet. So speeds can vary. What is important, me as a, a RF shop, as, a, as an antenna on a cable company and that me as an antenna engineer, it's important to make sure your connection to the network is as good as it is. That's the biggest thing. And then of course your um, connection quality, um, the actual throughput and so that, that comes as part of the package at the end. Um, so there's the table of the, all the summary of all the results that I have. So you could see that the downlink was improved. Um, Useful enough, significantly, 44 up to 59. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm very happy with that. RSRP, that's really where I'm um, just blew it out of the water, totally. It's from minus 105, which you could say, oh, that's okay, it's, it's doable, through to minus 66, which is off the chart as far as what people think, is it good enough or not. It's just completely safe, you're great. Signal to noise ratio, yeah, we were down in the noise a little bit initially. Um, we were okay on the output test with the modem on the outside, but that is not realistic. But then connecting an external antenna to the modem, and then it doesn't matter, you can put the modem back on the inside again, the um, signal to noise ratio of 26. Um, no questions, that's just, you're good. You're, <laughs> that's all I have to know, it's, you're good. Um, so there you go, um, um, the first test with this antenna, uh, just showing what you can do for your home setup, even if you have a reasonable connection. It's, 
it's definitely worth it because it just sets you sets you apart and that, that makes you um, you know being more comfortable and safe in your connection so that you know it's a reliable and secure connection well secure as it can be I'm, I'm talking about secure in terms of the RF connection to the network not not the actual traffic on it um, that's up to you that's something else now um, if you want to see more of what we do, please um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, our website is always available, so have a look what we have. If something's not listed on there, but you think we should have it, or we may have it, do let us know, because um, the, the, like the Jibo connectors and antenna options are significantly more than what we list, but in our website, we explicitly try to list the most popular and asked for products. Um, on antennas, we also try not to confuse customers by overwhelming with too many designs and options and the configurations that are available. So let us know if you have any questions. Um, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.